Welcome. Scott here. Today I am bringing you another Black Clover mobile video. In this video, I will be covering on the upcoming store image, Thread of Fate Vanessa. In general, Thread Vanessa is a sense attribute type supporter. Her key roles involving boosting mobility for defender mages and provide damage mitigation support for the allies with her threads. She can refill the highest all attack mage when using her skill 1. Her skill 2 gives 60% chance of blessing of protection to all allies. Blessing of protection will allows allies to heal back some HP when damage is blocked. If you have her skill page, it will give her the total defense buff. Her special gives the invulnerability buff and have a 60% chance of remove 2 debuffs from targeted alley. Her combo attack allows you to remove the immortality buff from the selected target. With her passives, she provides support and additional survivability utility for defender mages. Her LR passive grants the red thread of fate to defender mages at the start of the battle if you have deployed her in mono green team comp. Red Thread of Fate will grants immortality for one turn if HP is equal to or lower than 30%. This offer goods additional support utility for mono green defender mages like Miriolina and raids. At LR plus 2, she will grant a 50% increased mobility buff to a defender mage at the start of her turn. At LR plus 5, on top of the increased mobility buff mechanic, she also gives all allies SP plus 8 when she was killed in the battle. Generally, Thread of Fate or Destiny Vanessa is a very good sense supporter for defense setups. She excels in both PvE and PvP content. She offers great protection for your mages and help to boost the party survivability. If you have her skill page with the resolution support talent, she becomes the ideal counter unit against debuff heavy opposition teams. So should I pull for her? In my opinion, there isn't a general consensus on whether to pull for a unit. It really depends on whether you are a free to play or having a vast roster already. If your roster is lacking a damage mitigator like Clover Academy Charlotte, Black Asta, William, or Swimsuit Gauche, she offers great support for damage mitigation. Total defense and invulnerability along with blessing of protection are good for party defensive support buffs. If you have Miriolina and Black Asta built, she is an ideal mono green supporter for mono green team comp. She also works well in non mono green setups with her mobility boost for defender mages. Also, please do remember she is a story mage. So she will be added to the future banner pools. In the upcoming month banners, she will be included in the mages pool. It is possible to get her while chasing for the future story, seasonal or festival mages. If you want to get her but your resources is low and need to save for the upcoming festival mages, spirit dive you know and possibly the returning black asta, I would suggest you to wait since you can always make use of custom selective summon to get a raid up banner when you want to get her. Her skill page helps a lot to boost her survivability and also allows her skill 2 to provide total defense for the party. If you want to excel in high tier pvp fights, her skill page is important for her. Her combo attack is also good for killing off immortal units like Black Asta. This could come in clutch in tackling PvP content. For gears, she needs to get her turn fast so she can set up her protection buffs for the party. Like most supporters, you can go for advanced speed gear set with two pieces of the advanced defense set or a full defense set. Just remember this, the longer Vanessa survive, the more often she can applies her awesome defensive support buffs. Before I proceed to talk about her kit. Let me briefly explains the fundamentals of building a good team comp. In general, every good team comp needs a balanced set of characters playing their various roles. To be honest, bringing a full team of attacker mages won't get you to clear end game content. Don't expect Vanessa to do a lot of damage with her skills. Her key utility is to protect your party against incoming danger with SP refill and protection buffs. Her combo attack can remove annoying immortality buffs. To upgrade the skills, you need to use will shards. Will shards can be brought at the world regional shops monthly. If you upgrade your world reputation to level 2, 
you will unlock the option to buy the highest tier upgrade material. If you haven't done so, I will suggest you to start leveling up the reputation level by doing bond patrol or memory hall fights for that specific world. You can also get skills upgrade materials at your squad shop if you have joined a squad. You can buy them weekly with guild medals or monthly with guild raid coins. So try to level up and join a guild. If you have spending power, you can buy skills enhancement chests at the premium black crystal shop. Now let me go through her skill set. Her skill 1 red thread whip is a single target attack which grants a SP plus 2 buff to the mage with the highest all attack stats. Her non-attacking skill 2 thread of protection has a 60% chance of granting the party her blessing of protection buff for 2 turns. If you have her skill page, it will grants the total defense buff as well. Blessing of protection allows the buffed mage to have HP restored by 8% of their own max HP when they receive incoming damage. Upgrading the skill to max enhancement guarantee the activation. Her non-attacking special red thread of fate is a single target support ability. Upon using the skill on the targeted mage Vanessa will grants the mage invulnerability buff for 2 turns while having 60% chance of dispelling 2 debuffs from the targeted mage. Invulnerability will be block any incoming HP damage. Upgrading the skill to max enhancement will guarantee the activation of the dispel chance. Her combined attack is a single target attack with the partner mage that removes the immortality buff from the target. This is good for tackling units that have immortality mechanics. In general, do make an effort to invest and upgrade the skill's damage potencies and you will reap the benefit a lot. Unlike most mages, upgrading her skills don't give any damage boost but it helps to improve the probability of her buff's activation. 60% chance is quite decent. If you get it to level 3 or 2 level enhancements, you have an 80% chance which is good for most content. Ideally, you want to max out her skill 2 first as Blessing of Protection allows your party to heal back some HP when attacked by the opposition. Debuff removal may become unnecessary if the entire party has the resolution support passive once Vanessa applies her total defense buff with her skill 2. To apply a total defense buff, you need her skill page though. Now let's cover on her skill page. Vanessa's skill page is a skill page that benefits her own kit. If she has the blessing of protection buff, she will gains 25% reduced damage taken buff. At max enhancement, the damage taken buff will upgrade it to 45%. Unless you are targeting the upper leagues and have big spending power, I won't recommend you to chase too hard for dupes of the skill page. You can end up hurting your resources to pull for the upcoming units. Her skill page is important for the total defense buff. If you don't have her skill page, you can use other skill pages that boost her utility. For skill page replacement, you can use Sally skill page to provide that awesome increased all attack buff, William skill page for a small passive heal or using the SR version of her skill page to give damage resistance buff for the lowest HP ally. You can also use generic skill page like the Moonlight Necklace to boost her own defense. Just keep in mind, without her skill page, her defensive utility will drop drastically. Total defense will allow all damage received is counted as blocked. Now let's cover on her talents. To understand what is the best talent settings, you need to know what is the mage's primary role. Vanessa is a defensive supporter. For her attack talent will, I would suggest giving her increased battle frenzy and increased magic attack. Increased magic attack will increase her magic attack stats by 7%. For the other talent, battle frenzy will be the better option since it allows her to gain 2.5% increased critical rate buff that could stack up to 5 times. For the talent craved stone, I would suggest you give her the accuracy talent stone to boost her survivability. For the defense talent will, I recommend you to go for the endurance defensive talent, which gives her 4% defense and 2% critical resistance, up to 5 times per wave along with increased defense that boost her defense by 20%. For the craved stone, you will want to give her the defense talent craved stone. In the support talent will, you will have a wide variety of options like one shown on the screen. 
Increased damage resistance will result Vanessa to improve her damage resistance by 10%. Mage Blessing allows her to have a 20% chance of cool down her skill 2 which could allow her to apply her skill 2. This will help a lot in ensure Vanessa to be able to use her skill 2 for the party blessing of protection buff. It is worth noting that her skill 2 has a longer cooldown of 3 turns compared to most mages. I myself will probably pair this with mage blessing so she can apply her blessing of protection more frequently. You can also opt to use increased accuracy and penetration to enhance her damage potencies. Penetration stats is good for handling enemies with high defenses. Whenever your mage attacks, a certain portion of the target's defense is ignored when damage is dealt based on the character's penetration stat. On the other hand, accuracy will helps to boost Vanessa's survivability as it allows her to have higher chance of damage reduction activation. Resolution is an arena specific passive or when you are fighting a debuffer type PvE boss. With this passive, the mage will gain debuff immunity for a turn upon resisting damage successfully. With her skill page, Vanessa can apply total defense buff which will count any damage received as blocked, this will trigger the resolution passive which allows you to block any incoming debuffs. In general, you can go with either one of these two passives combination, resolution with increased accuracy and penetration for debuffs block setup or increased damage resistance with mage blessing for more frequent use of her skill too. Since you probably will rotate the talents based on the content that you are tackling and she will be your arena mainstay for a foreseeable future if you having the meta defender mages like Mirioliana and Black Asta, maxing out her talent wheels will be greatly beneficial. Now let's focus on her gear sets. Generally, you want to target for advanced gear sets pieces. For PvP, you want to use the full advanced speed set with the small attack and defense piece from the advanced defense set. Speed is important for PvP. If Vanessa don't have her turns to use her buffs, you will still get killed anyway. The set can be farmed at the red power gear dungeon. If you don't have enough pieces of that, you can temporarily slot in a full defense pieces to make her tanky. Remember the longer she survive, the higher chances she could apply her protection buffs and thus ensure your party survivability. You can refer to the middle and gear set on the right for references. For substats, you should prioritize on defense, defense percent, critical resistance percent and damage resistance substats. If you previously build Black Asta gear but didn't build his critical rate and critical damage, those gear pieces can be used for Vanessa. You can also further boost her survivability by equipping her defense main stats accessories. You can also give her the advanced gear dungeon gear pieces like Snowfield Warrior gear pieces from Advanced Sense gear dungeon or the Abandoned Friends gear pieces from the gear selection chest. With the introduction of Mirioliana, mono green team comps in PvP will also rise to prominence. Useful mono green mages include the following. When using a mono green team comp, Ceremony Charlotte will grant barrier to all mages that scales off 80% of her HP at the start of the turn. If you have Ceremony Charlotte at LR plus 2, she can give the barrier buff to the mage with highest attack whenever she takes her turn. When using a mono green team comp, Hateful Fauna will grant the party status ailment immunity at the start of the battle. When using a mono green team comp, Party Mimosa will give the mage with the highest attack invulnerability at the start of the battle. Invulnerability will result that mage to receive 0 HP damage. Vanessa will add further utility for mono green team comp is that she will give a defender mage the red thread of fate buff which gives the green defender mages the immortality buff if their HP drop to 30%. On the screen, you can see some possible combinations of mono green team comps. Vanessa is a premium defense supporter mage who complements defender mages. If you have the meta defender mages like Black Asta and Mirioliana fully maxed out, she complements them well and boosts their survivability with her support buffs. Having a defense mitigator is good for endgame PvE content as well. Vanessa can be deployed to clear boss raids and nightmare stage of squad boss difficulty. She can also be used to clear the Hall of Illusions fights. With this, I have come to end of the my video guide presentation. 
hopefully, this will assist you in making your decision whether to pull for Vanessa. Looking forward to see you in the next video. Have a nice day and bye.